the command books, command books, just to write the books. And then most, most of them didn't know, they try to get all, most of them all yeah, the Jewish, no, I don't, I don't have uh, Jewish people. So. Okay, so we're just going to have a, a chat. We're, we're all Christians, we understand, born again. And our friend was telling us how God met with him. How long ago did you Oh right, you're quite young. Right? Yeah. It's very encouraging that young people yeah, are coming across. Yeah, I mean, I was across. raised as an atheist as well, so there was you? no Christian in my life. So what was the, how, how were you born again? How, how did God meet with you? Well, it's one of those things I've only realised recently how it's feeds into my view of God. I mean, I'm, I always say I'm glad I went to parents when they taught things like patience. say I committed that sin or I committed this sin um, and that's what made me a sinner. But is that, we've actually all got a nature from birth, because uh, David says in the 51st Psalm, I was shaken in iniquity and sin did my mother conceive me. So we all have a nature of sin from, from, square, from square one, uh, from the word go. So that nature of sin, a lot of people say, well, because you don't do this sin or because you don't do that sin, uh, you're not so much of a sinner as uh, the Roman Catholic who was going to this chapter of Bob Leone. You know, he would actually say that uh, the Roman Catholic teaching of sin is that we've got venial sin, mortal sin, and all different grades of sin. But actually, it all comes from the same nature. And so the point is that people need a new nature. And that only the Holy Spirit can do. So when you receive Christ, the Holy Spirit comes and he gives you a new nature. And that is what is, that's what, that's the life of God in the soul of man. So it's God literally living out his life in you as a believer. And, and Christ can form in you. Just as a, a, a woman has a baby formed in her womb. So Christ has been formed in us. And the Holy Ghost work that he has begun, he's going to complete it. He's not going to stop halfway through, because Paul says we are sealed unto the day of redemption by the Holy Spirit. So a person who is born again will be kept by God, Psalm 121. You know, he will preserve your going out, your coming in, and this time he will forevermore. 
the preserving of all evil. Uh, and if it weren't, if it weren't God preserving this, if it weren't God who did the work, then if it depended on us or me to grit my teeth and keep going, then I'd be in a terrible state because I would never be able to do it. And so we need the Holy Ghost, we need the Holy Spirit in order to live the Christian life. And so that it's only lived by the Holy Spirit. And the Word of God is breathed by the Holy Spirit. So the Word of God, the more filled with the Holy Spirit you are, the more filled with the Word of God you'll be. Because He, he breathes, He ex, ex, uh, I don't like the word um, inspired. It suggests as though you know, it's something sort of subjective. But He expired, as it were, the Word of God. So all scripture is expired, is, is God breathed in the Greek theopneustos, God says, neustos, breath. So all scripture is God breathed, and that's why we need the Holy Ghost in order to understand it. And 1 Corinthians chapter 3, chapter 2 and 3 speaks of the necessity of the Holy Spirit in order to rightly understand and interpret the, the Bible. So, yeah, praise God for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 Yeah.